So today I just wanted to try and take a quick look at Dawn, the 2014 short film directed by Rose McGowan. This was considered her directorial debut and it actually had a pretty good run. The film was nominated for the Short Film Grand Jury Prize at the Sundance Film Festival and it's a very simplistic story. It's very short. It's roughly, I believe, 17 minutes long. You're really not sitting too long and watching the movie, but it really draws you in for what it is. Um, it's definitely not the traditional coming-of-age type story, but the film is somewhat of a period piece. It's set in the 1960s, and the thing about this that really caught my interest, aside from the fact that I really enjoy period pieces, is the fact that everyone always assumes that films that are dated in a, in a from a bygone era, I guess you could say, um, just kind of tends to hold a, a, f a feeling of innocence or a simpler time. At least that's the general connotation and what people generally forget to acknowledge is that people have always been people, people have always been dark and cruel, they haven't changed much over the time period. It's just for some reason we tend to think of things from, I guess you could say things from the way back as as being simpler, more kinder, more innocent, and that's that's just total bull. And this film pretty much just blows the lid off of that. But it, it shows and throws a very general truth in your face and forces you to acknowledge. And not just that, actually think about it. And when I saw this, it actually had me thinking for a very long time and this is definitely one of those movies you can watch more than once and you'll pick up things that you hadn't noticed or things that you hadn't considered on previous viewings. So the film Dawn is obviously the title character's name so it does reference her but what I thought was interesting and I guess most of you may think of this just considering the time period is Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. Uh, they also had a song called Dawn Go Away and it's the chorus of that film that just kind of the chorus of that song that just kind of replayed over and over in my head as I watched this because I, I don't know, it's just, the film is very, it starts off light, but you can tell there are dark and brutish undertones there and there's definitely something more going on. And for some reason it's like, I like I said, I even just hearing the title of the movie Dawn and I can just hear them, you know, singing in falsetto in the background and it, it just totally fits what actually does happen in this film. So basically the film opens and it's one of those wraparound type stories. We're seeing the ending when we are introduced to these characters. We see a girl who is under stress and she's begging to go home and then we're abruptly taken to the beginning of the story where we see her in her vehicle with her overbearing mother and she's just kind of smiling and looking over at the uh, the gas station attendant. Obviously they're roughly within the same age range and she very obviously has a girl crush on him. Her mother makes no attempt to at least wait in correcting her daughter, just quickly, you know, kind of like, hey, stop that. But um, I guess you could say the real trouble here happens because she's, yes, I would say she's an innocent girl. She's been sheltered. Um, she has I guess overbearing or neglectful parents and this girl has a sense of emptiness. She's she's lonely and unfortunately this group of kids preys on that and you know that's very true of just anybody in any time period is you always have to be careful of yourself, you always have to be wary of people's intentions, but she's a young girl, she's lonely and as I've said she has a crush on this boy so her parents are away and she invites him and his group of friends over to her home to listen to records and it's in one of these scenes where he kind of, I guess you could say, falsely tries to relate to her saying, look, I know you're lonely, um, you know, I just want to be here for you, blah 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 type stuff, but you know, basically this is just the, the lore to to get her out of the home. So they go out for a drive and for some odd reason, and later I just kind of thought about this as maybe they were just kind of trying to soften the blow is that the um, the second boy in the 
group keeps trying to encourage Dawn to drink, which she eventually does. It's just very odd the way that they take her from her home, they're driving out to the countryside, and ultimately that's when things really become obviously wrong. There's one scene where the girl in the group wants to trade dresses and then refuses to give it back, citing, well, she won't need it anyway, and, you know, you're probably thinking, well, why the devil won't she need it? It's her clothes. Um, but, you know, the, the intentions here are very obvious, the ending is very predictable, but it's still one of those things that just totally slaps you in the face, and I think it's mostly just the fact that, as I've said, it, it's kind of like a reverse coming-of-age type story um, where the main character doesn't walk away with any additional knowledge, she doesn't learn anything because she doesn't have the opportunity to. The people who actually learn something here is the audience. So, as I've said, it's it's very hard not to feel sorry for Dawn because, yes, she she took a risk. She rebelled against what her parents generally tell her and taught her, and she left the home and she went for a drive, and she suffered a very severe consequence for this. She could have made an, an attempt at self-preservation, and she doesn't. She accepts her consequence, and the sad thing is she really didn't have to. I think it's more a sense she did it because she felt there was no other option, which that in itself is the, the true tragedy here, I think, is the fact that this girl is just so so repressed and she lacks life experience. She's extremely sheltered. Technically, she hasn't had time to come into herself as a, a person, as a young woman, you know, as a complete total being. And in a sense, her, I guess you could say her, her mental development has been hindered due to this. So even though the ending is very predictable, and I really don't want to ruin the stories for you, story for you guys, which is really hard because I kind of really want to go into detail on this, but I don't want to ruin it if you haven't seen it. But I'll try and link the short film in the description box if you guys want to check that out and we can continue the discussion in the comments section. But just really quickly, I just kind of wanted to read off my notes here just in regards to my thoughts to the film as a whole just because it's it's one of those things I don't want to leave out one of the points that I wanted to make about this, but I also don't want to feel like I'm changing what I originally thought just because I can't remember my exact wording. So I hope you will excuse me here momentarily as I read off of my notes here. Dawn is basically a very simple and subtle story that has many points of consideration and you really have to get in there and analyze in order to see the bigger picture, which yes, you, you really do. You have to, you know, kind of very much read between the lines and as I've said, that's where kind of coming into play as watching the film more than once is definitely very helpful with actually seeing what's going on and then taking note of those actions after you've already seen the film the first time. So it's a story of innocence and oppression and how society thinks it is okay to treat people this way. The story of how naivety and rebellion can go terribly wrong and accepting perceived consequences regardless of that fact that there are other options in order to get out of a bad situation. It's my story and the story of many young men and women and it shouldn't have to be. This is definitely one of those stories that screams to be told and listened to. And Rose McGowan herself in her artist statement refers to it as a cautionary tale, which yes, I can definitely very much see that, but it's not a caution cautionary tale in the sense of don't disobey your parents. That's that's not what the point here is. It's more, I think you could say, a, a social commentary on how not only just women in general are treated and raised from a young age to, you know, maybe just women in general. I mean, the fact that the the title character Dawn is a, is a female, she's a young lady, and I think even though it's probably cruel to say, I don't think the film would have had as much impact on the viewer had the had the title character been male rather than a girl. I think that's the reason why the ending just really slaps you in the face and really makes the point is the fact that women are perceived as something that 
is delicate and they need to be protected and in this sense Dawn was overly protected and that was her downfall in a sense not just due to the society that she was living in and growing up in at the time but also due to her parents expectations so just to just read off of the artist statement really quick um, in Rose McGowan's words. Dear viewer, Dawn is a cautionary tale. We hurt girls with casual negligence. We change the course of lives and the stereotypical view shared thoughtlessly. We shape the minds of the innocent. Let's think different and be better. This film is a lot softer. It's a lot more subtle. You definitely do get and feel that tension, especially as the ending event or sequence is about to come into place. You really do see, oh no, you have to get out of there. Why are you doing this? Why did you get into this? Make an effort to get away. And, you know, it, it's just a really sad story. It's very simplistic, but I find it very effective and relatable because we're taking the premise of first love or you know Dawn's puppy love for this guy that she likes. Unfortunately she decides to take a risk and go against what her parents have taught her, how what they expect of her and she takes this risk and ultimately she suffers a very severe consequence which never should have had to have been faced to begin with. Um, but as I've said I, I definitely did pull a lot from this film. It definitely gave me a lot to think about. Hopefully it's a film that does interest you guys as well. Obviously it's not horror, but it's very dark subject matter. Um, you know, if you have to put an exact label on it, I would say it's a dark drama. But yeah, I wouldn't say write it off as just being some chick flick or some boo-hoo story. I mean, there really is a point here and Rose McGowan as well as the, the writers of this short really did have something to say and you can definitely see it's it's a message that they all very much believed in but that is all i have for you guys today and i will talk to you later